Hey everyone and welcome to our iOS 13 Apple CarPlay update video. Now I recently got the iOS 13 beta version on this iPhone 6s and I was very pleasantly surprised when I plugged it into my car and it had completely changed the Apple CarPlay system. Now Apple has done a lot of work. This is actually their first redesign of the Apple CarPlay system and they've really worked on making it uh, easier to use when driving um, and also giving you a lot of features that people had complained about. You know, maybe it was hard to use this part of the system and they've worked on addressing that. So let's go ahead and dive into this system and see what this uh, iOS 13 update has actually done and see if it has made it a lot better. Alrighty, so starting out here, uh, you are going to definitely notice that there is a lot of different graphics with this iOS 13 version of CarPlay, and you're also going to notice that we now have a home screen. So Apple definitely heard uh, a lot of customer complaints saying that we didn't have a home screen, especially when the Android Auto system had one, and now we do. So off to the left, you have your navigation system, as well as some recently used apps, and it does also to adapt to what you've used uh, in the past or what you're going to need to use, what they anticipate you might need. Um, but you still do have your regular home screen as well. So if you swipe over like I just did, you basically will see what used to be the whole Android or Apple CarPlay system. So you have your tiles here, just like on your iPhone, with your different apps, and you can swipe over to get to your remaining apps. And you're probably noticing one of the other big changes for the iOS 13 update, and that's really throughout the entire phone, uh, is that you can put it in a dark mode, as well as the white mode you can pick between them. Um, I, I've chosen the dark mode, so as you can see, everything is dark and classy looking, um, and it, it just really makes for a, a better look than it had before. It looks a lot more premium. Now, you do still have uh, your typical uh, CarPlay things, so off to the side you have your three most recently used apps, as well as your time, your service, and this is a tile to uh, go between the, the home screen and the apps. So now that we're back at the home screen, I do want to talk about just how easy it is to use uh, all of these apps just at the click of a button. So previously you had to go like uh, in between the different apps and it was kind of annoying and hard to use, while, especially while you're driving. Uh, so if you leave it on this home screen and you need to navigate somewhere really fast, all you do is just tap in and as you can see it takes you right in. Everything is actually very quick in this new iOS 13 update and we can just tap again and we can search for a new destination. Now, you can uh, quickly search for stuff like uh, gas stations, parking, restaurants, coffee, or groceries. Uh, so those like POIs, things that you might be looking for, you can easily just find here if you're not familiar with the area. So if we click on gas stations, as you can see, it gives us about five different locations that we can go to uh, all within like a mile radius. Now, if you have a specific location that you're wanting to go to, uh, you can use the voice commands to make it really nice and easy Where to would use. You like to go? Or you can just type it in. Now, this is a very simple process since it does pop up a nice keyboard. So let's say we want to go to McDonald's. And as you can see, it pops up right there. I typed in MC and it knows exactly where I want to go. Now, if you hit destinations, uh, it will show you uh, some serious suggestions for where you might be going. Um, as you can see, this right here, the Home Depot, uh, that's actually being read out of my calendar because I wanted to go to the Home Depot this, uh, this evening and it knows that you know, I might wanna go to the Home Depot so you can just hit destinations and it kind of knows where you wanna go. It kind of anticipates where you wanna go. Now it also has a lot of different locations where you've been before. So if you wanna go um, to a, a spot that you've been before, uh, that is gonna be located right here. Now going off of that, I do want to talk about the calendar. Uh, so this is a new app for the Apple CarPlay system. The calendar uh, is now integrated right here as you can see. So uh, if you just tap into that, as you can see, I can see all of my um, you know, appointments and stuff that I have in the calendar. Right now I only have one thing to do and that's go get a ceiling fan from Home Depot. And if I tap on it, as you can see, it has the location here and I can easily navigate to it as I showed you before and everything works extremely fast. And if I hit, uh, let's just go ahead and pretend like I wanna go here now. So as you can see, the actual navigation portion of the Apple Maps system has been changed for this iOS 13 version. So we have a, our tile up here telling you uh, your um, most upcoming turn, as well as down here. And new is that you can now click on this and you have a few functions inside of that. So you can search here and you can search for different things. 
Uh, let's say you need gas before you get to the Home Depot. Uh, you can just hit on this and it will show you uh, gas stations actually on your route. So you can say, all right, I wanna go to this shell and it's going to take you to that shell and then you can resume the uh, original navigation back to the Home Depot, which is a very useful feature. So you can kind of add in stops. Now, another thing that I've seen that it can do, it's not really showing up here, um, but if we were going to like a, let's say my friends were going to hang out somewhere um, and we have a destination set, it will actually allow you to uh, text your friends and like update them on your location through clicking this. So it would be like an ETA. So right here, 702 ETA, I can click on that and it will actually allow you to send that to your most recent contacts uh, and tell them where you are and how far you are from going to be uh, away from that destination. Uh, so that's actually a very useful feature and it definitely keeps your hands off of your phone when your friends are texting you and saying, hey, where are you at? Now heading back to the home screen, uh, now that we do have a destination, as you can see, the map has kind of adapted to give us our destination as well as our ETA here. And it does also uh, change this tile um, from what it used to be to your uh, upcoming turns. Now another one of the big changes though uh, has to do with the music. So as you can see, the second tile here is our music. Um, and what Apple has really done with this updated uh, CarPlay system is they've put a big focus on album art and stuff like that. So previously, it just used to be the name of the song and that type of stuff, but now they can uh, transmit the album art as well to the screen. So as you can see, this song is playing right here, and it does have the album cover, as well as a updated design for this iOS 13 version. Now you can hit the back button here and it will take you to the uh, music app that you are currently using. Uh, so instead of like trying to push Apple, Ma Apple Music a lot, uh, it actually integrates Spotify a lot better than it did in the previous versions. So as you can see, it pulled up Spotify for me and it's very easy to use here. So you have your home right here with uh, your mixes as well as your recent, recently played playlist. And you do have your browse functions if you want a specific um, genre of music as well as your own library. So as you can see, uh, this works a lot better than it did previously. Honestly, half of the time it wouldn't even load in the previous version of iOS. Um, and now it works absolutely flawlessly. And I can even do playlist and select, you know, from my recent playlist as well as stuff that I have saved. Um, and it really just helps to keep you less distracted when you're on the road. Now heading into the phone section, uh, this has also been uh, changed from the previous version. So one of my biggest pet peeves here was when you hit the phone, it automatically launched Siri. Um, and I thought that was always kind of annoying because then you had to hit the back button to actually get to stuff that you might be looking for. Uh, that has been changed for the iOS 13 version and you automatically launch into the favorites as well as your recents, your contacts, and you can also just dial right here and look at your voicemail. So that's actually a lot of new features that make it a lot better to use. I've already mentioned the maps. And as far as the messages are concerned, uh, this has also been revised for the iOS 13 version. As you can see, it just pops up your most recent messages and you cl can click on them to read them. And you can even scroll down uh, quite a bit, uh, probably your most uh, recent 10 text messages it will show for you and you can also compose a new message here and it automatically it launches uh, Siri for you to uh, voice command your message. Like I mentioned the calendar is a new app for the iOS 13 version and you do still have the Google Maps uh, option from the iOS 12 update. Now I have saved one of the biggest changes for last and that has to do with Siri. So Siri has actually been revised quite a bit for this iOS 13 version of CarPlay. Um, and one of the biggest revisions is that it, it, it works um, within the system. So if I, if I launch Siri here, it doesn't block the entire screen out, which is something a lot of people complained about. And I can also launch Siri uh, without holding this home button or the button on my steering wheel. I can just say the phrase, hey Siri. Text Drew. What do you want to say? Hey, how are you doing? Your message to Drew says, hey, how are you doing? Ready to send it? And as you can see, uh, you can uh, just say yes and have Siri send it for you hands-free. Or now you can hit the send button manually. Okay. 
on it's the fun. screen. So you don't have to listen to all her jibber jabber if you don't want to. You can just push the button on the screen, which really makes it a lot easier to use. Um, and as I'm going to go back and send another text message here. Send text to Drew. What do you want to say? Hey. Your message to Drew says hey. Okay. Ready to send it? And if I want to review it. Your message it, to Drew says hey. I, she can Ready repeat it. it. And I can also what do you want to say? even change it if she does not say the right thing. So I don't have to go through the whole, um, no, you're not correct, Siri. And then she's going to be like, ram, 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 ram. I can just do that right here from the screen. As you can see, I just got another text message. And now instead of popping up on the top, it does pop up right here. Now, if I click on this message, it will read it aloud to me, just Drew like it did great. before. How are you doing? But Would you like to the new features... Or uh, obviously she can just automatically just uh, go through the voice commands like she used to be able to do. But now I can hit reply here. What do you want to say? I'm doing good, thanks. Your message says or, I'm doing good, thanks. Uh, Ready to send it? Previously, uh, it did say you could call them. So let's say you got a text uh, from someone and you didn't really have the time to reply to it or whatever and you needed to call them, you can just hit the call button on the screen and it will directly call them. Now another new feature, this is a pretty small feature, uh, is that we now have these settings. Uh, so we actually have settings for our Apple CarPlay system. Uh, so as you can see, we can turn on Do Not Disturb when driving. Uh, so if you don't want to get any text messages, phone calls, whatever, if you just want to be left alone while you're driving to keep minimize distraction, uh, you can turn on this feature and it will not uh, notify you of anything when you are driving. Now, uh, like I was mentioning before, we do have different appearance modes. Uh, so we can set it to be automatic or always dark. I personally like the dark mode, so I've set it on my phone to be dark. So that's why that's checked off. And we do also have uh, different settings for the Siri suggestions. That was a feature that I was talking about earlier where it kind of predicts where you might be wanting to go. You can turn that on and off. You can turn on, the, on and off the album art on your music. And that's pretty much about it. Uh, but it is nice that Apple does allow you to kind of customize the system, whereas previously you were kind of just stuck with how it was. And there is one last feature that I do want to kind of discuss. Uh, Apple has said that they've worked a lot to make the music integration uh, better with this. So it's supposed to be able to, if I hit the voice control button and say, hey Siri, uh, play the certain song, it's supposed to be able to play that song. Um, I'm not going to demo that right now because we don't get a co copyright strike. Um, but it is supposed to be able to do that, which is a nice feature. Well, that's pretty much it for this redesigned iOS 13 version of Apple CarPlay. Um, if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, uh, be sure to leave us with a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, it definitely, we definitely appreciate it. Uh, and be sure to also comment down below if you enjoyed the video. And we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.